Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Hillary photo explodes after eagle-eyed observers notice big problem with coat. Was Hillary Clinton honest with the American people about her health during the 2016 presidential campaign, or has she been hiding a severe condition all this time? That's the question making the rounds among concerned observers after strange photos of Clinton were published online. While walking on a public sidewalk in New York last week, the former Secretary of State was seen with an unnatural protrusion under her unseasonably long coat. Fashion faux pas are not usually that interesting, but Clinton's appearance was so jarring and puzzling that questions of health were immediately raised. Is Hillary Clinton wearing a back brace now? asked Mark Dice on Twitter. Did she hurt herself again? Another pointed out the oddity of Clinton wearing a scarf around her neck and a long coat despite the fact it was 80 degrees at the time she was photographed in New York. Another wondered if the oddly shaped object was perhaps a bulletproof vest, but it would be incredibly oversized if true. According to the Daily Mail, a back brace on the former Democrat candidate would signal yet another injury on a growing list of ailments. During public appearances earlier this year, Clinton was spotted wearing a cast after breaking her wrist when she slipped in a hotel bath, the newspaper reported. Clinton also had to wear a surgical boot at various points late last year after she fell down some stairs in her heels and broke her toe, the mail continued. That's on top of mysterious dizzy spells and falls in public that were waved away as no big deal by her staff when they occurred. Some critics have questioned the attention and scrutiny focused on Clinton's health. If she were an ordinary citizen, they might have a point. But Clinton has repeatedly chosen to keep herself in the public spotlight. In fact, her possible back brace was also noticed Monday during a public speaking event in New Zealand, where it seemed to force her into an unnatural and stiff posture. The point is this, instead of retreating from the public eye after the election, Clinton has purposely sought it out, which makes observations about her health well within bounds. It's worth pointing out that the left repeatedly scolded conservatives for asking questions about the former first lady's medical problems and her fitness to be president, even before the election. The general theme was that it was a Republican conspiracy and Clinton was in perfect health. If Clinton and her staff purposely concealed serious medical problems and worsening health in the months leading up to the election, the American people had, and still have, a right to know. Imagine for a moment that Clinton had won the election and was now dealing with critical issues such as traveling to Asia to firmly negotiate with Kim Jong-un, or making middle-of-the-night decisions about Syrian airstrikes or terrorist attacks. Instead of being fit and healthy, Clinton looks unable to even get in and out of cars without special assistance. The candidate herself was the one who raised the question of preparedness in her 3 a.m. phone call pitch against Barack Obama, but it looks increasingly like she was hiding major physiological issues from voters for years. If Clinton is facing serious medical issues, we sincerely hope that she recovers soon and is able to spend time with her family and grandchildren for years to come. However, it would be better if she came clean about the situation and spoke candidly about hiding this from the American people, instead of continuing a charade of being invincible. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.